Hey, Fish Keepers! Aqua Alex Cardinelli here, doing something a little bit interesting. Today I'm doing a informal video. Usually when I do informal videos on fish, they're live streams. But today, for the first time, I'm going to do a video upload of an informal topic. Today I'm going to talk to you about cloudy water. Every aquarium hobbyist in this hobby is going to face cloudy water. Whether you're a freshwater hobbyist or a saltwater hobbyist, whether you're a newbie or an experienced fish keeper, you're going to face cloudy water. So today, I'm going to address two things. What can cause cloudy water? And is cloudy water terrible for your fish? So we're going to address that right here, right now on this video. So, let me show you my 125-gallon aquarium really quick. As you can see, my water is not 100% crystal clear, but it's not terrible either. And the fish are absolutely 100% healthy, and they are doing well. So, do I want my water to look like this? No, I don't want my water to look like this. I would want my water to look crystal clear. But there's a reason why the water is not crystal clear yet but it will be crystal clear crystal crystal clear really soon it will be crystal clear really soon now this tank has sat empty for a number of months because i had a uh, illness that wiped out almost my entire tank the only fish i was able to save was my silver arowana and a couple of others so this tank sat empty for um december January, so two months this tank sat empty. And then in February, I drained it all the way down, refilled it all the way back up, changed the filter media, got rid of the canister filters, and now just on this tank is hang on the back filters. So that's why um, it's a little bit cloudy. Right now, my 125 gallon aquarium is simply going through what's called a bacterial loom. So when you set up an aquarium, aquariums go through cycles, and there is no definite amount of time it takes for a cycle to complete. A cycle could complete in weeks, a cycle could complete in months, or a cycle could complete in days. But it's really rare for a cycle to be finished in days. Usually it's a couple of weeks, but to the most extremist of cases, it's a couple of months. I think in my case, it's a little bit of an extreme case because it's all new filter media and I added fish to it the same day along with Prime. But as you can see, all of my fish are 100% healthy. There's no ick, there's no illness, there's no scratching, there's no hole in the head. So as long as your fish are healthy, you have nothing to worry about. Just do small partial water changes. One of the things with a bacterial bloom that you don't want to do is to be doing lots of big water changes because then you're just prolonging the cycle and prolonging how long it takes to finish the cycle. Now, I do want to address one thing before we get into our topic. You know, I do see some of your comments that you guys leave me some of you haters, I'm going to call you. And you say that, oh, I'm a terrible fish keeper because my water is not crystal clear and I shouldn't be talking about fish. Well, you guys are absolute idiots because as you can see, there's nothing wrong with my fish. They are 100% healthy. And I know that my fish are thriving and being healthy. So there's no reason to leave rude comments like that. Absolutely, 100%, no reason to leave nasty comments like that. I could see if I was posting a video of dirty brown water with my Oscars having hole in the head and my fish having all sorts of parasites and illness, then yes, I can 100% agree with you. But no, just because you have a little bit of cloud, cloudiness in your aquarium doesn't mean that your water is bad or your or fish are living in dirty conditions. Absolutely not. That is not true. Okay, and I'm going to explain why to you that is not true. It's because there is a cycle going on in your aquarium, as I pretty much already explained. So I just wanted to address that. 
And I know a lot of people uh, have left comments, not recently, but over the years, people have left comments saying, oh, I'm a bad fish keeper, this and that. And uh, I really don't pay no mind to it. But today I decided to. And people like that are what is the, so decisive about the aquarium hobby. You've got good fish keepers willing to help people. And then you've got those fish keepers who think they know it all. And they think they can bash other people when they don't know things at all. But anyway, let's get back to our topic and let's talk about cloudy water. Cloudy water, is it bad for the fish? Cloudy water is one of the most common complaints that many aquarium hobbyists have. It is totally natural to worry about harm coming to your fish, but cloudy water will not impact the health of your tropical fish in your aquarium. Often when you set up an aquarium, the water in a brand new aquarium will be crystal clear for the first few days. And then suddenly it'll turn milky, leading the owner to believe something has gone wrong. This is totally normal. This is what we call an aquarium cycle. A brand new aquarium contains little to no bacteria. Once you begin to add life, a number of microscopic organisms all try to establish themselves. These then begin to multiply as they feed on minerals and nutrients in the water, which is what causes the cloudiness. And like I said, the cloudiness and the cycle can last for weeks or a month or two. My take is getting a lot better and I think my bacterial bloom will be over in a week or two. So if your tank has already been cycled and running for years and it's a little bit cloudy, here are some reasons of why you could have cloudy water. Too much debris at the bottom of your aquarium. There could be too much debris in your substrate. So I would recommend doing a water change and clean your substrate. Also, you could have leftover food, leftover protein food left in your aquarium. Pellets, pellets will actually start to rot in your aquarium when they're in there for a while. So that could cause water uh, deterioration and that can cloud your water. If you feed raw seafood like I do, raw shrimp or raw tilapia, the longer it sits in your water, that can cloud your water as well. So we want to make sure that we are not overfeeding our fish. And dirty filters can also cause cloudy water. So it's always important that we make sure that we are cleaning our filters every couple of months. So there you have it. My little lecture and my little rant on cloudy water. And is cloudy water bad for your fish? No, it's not bad for your fish. It's just bad for your eyes. It's just bad for aesthetics because you want to look at a crystal clear tank. But that's not always 100% possible. You just have to be patient. And with patience comes a crystal clear tank. Patience is a virtue, my friends, in the fish keeping hobby. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more fish keeping content. I'm going to do a lot more informal videos for you here on my channel. Happy fish keeping and tank on, everybody.